It's been a long war that I've been fighting. With oil drillers and Florida officers, it seems that I can never catch a break. But I'm finally home. Yes, Eagle. Screech that patriotic screech. For I am the soldier that America needed! Oh, hello there, Hawk. Wait, that was you? What about the eagle with the sweet sound of patriotism? So I've been lied to. All that American pride when we hear the sound of the wild. For nothing. This is truly the most tragic day in American history. Ugh. Hey guys, I just got back from a war I fought in three months ago. Boy am I dizzy. I'm getting all these weird hallucinations every other moment. So what was it we were doing today? Oh, that's right. We're talking about hawks and eagles. Two birds of prey that, on the surface, appear to be the same bird with different names. However, much like with most animals, there are several reasons as to why they are different types. First off, what are hawks and eagles? Hawks and eagles are two types of raptor, or bird of prey if you're not a Jurassic fanboy like myself. Both eagles and hawks are members of the Acyptiforms order, which is the order of birds that contains the true raptors. This order also includes the secretary bird, osprey, old world vultures, and kites. Hold on, true raptors? I thought raptors and birds of prey were the same thing. What about owls, falcons, and new world vultures? Well, that's an interesting question. It turns out that bird of prey classification is all screwed up. Birds like owls, falcons, and new world vultures aren't actually closely related to true raptors like hawks and eagles. Owls are more closely related to woodpeckers and kingfishers, while falcons are descendants of parrots and serimas, which are the closest living relatives to the terror bird. And new world vultures are related to storks. That last part may sound weird, but if you take a closer look at some stork species like the greater agitant and the sleep paralysis demon I talked about in one of my videos, then you'll discover that they share many of the same traits and habits as New World vultures. All of these birds of prey are similar to true raptors due to convergent evolution. It's like that one family that you and yours constantly hang out with that although you're not at all related to each other, you're so close that you consider each other part of your family. Anyways, I got totally sidetracked, but now I'm going to spend the rest of the video comparing hawks and eagles. As mentioned previously, hawks and eagles are closely related and are part of the Acyptiforms order. And because most biologists refer to members of this order as true raptors, I'm going to refer to both of these as raptors generally and simply birds of prey if I'm grouping them together with owls, falcons, and new world vultures. Well, maybe dinosaurs have more in common with present-day birds than they do with reptiles. Look at the pubic bone, turned backward, just like a bird. Look at the vertebrae, full of air sacs and hollows, just like a bird. And even the word raptor means bird of prey. Both hawks and eagles are members of the Acyptridae family and are top-class hunters with sh sharp hook beaks and strong talons. Fun fact! A raptor's bite strength is actually very weak, and it's actually the talons of these birds you have to fear. That's why most falconers don't worry about getting bit by one of these birds, but are extremely careful when handling their feet, because if a hawk or eagle grabs your arm, it could potentially grab it in a way too hard and leave deep puncture wounds. This is exactly why falconers wear gloves. Between the two, Eagle talons are definitely the ones you need to look out for more. The largest talons of any raptor actually belong to the harpy eagle, which can be as big as a freaking grizzly bear's claw. Hawks on the other hand, haha, <laughs> get it? Because we're talking about talons? I I'm so funny. 
Hawks have weaker talons than Eagles, but they are still extremely dangerous. These talons are very flexible and can grab anything from anywhere. Their talons are used to stab prey, puncturing vital organs and arteries so that they can quickly bleed to death. Their talons also have a very strong grip, as when they catch their next meal, they do not let go. If their unfortunate victim survives this initial hit, then it's no big deal. They will just use their sharp hook beaks to shear their prey and eat them alive. Sorry if that description was graphic, but it's all part of nature. You either eat or get eaten. Nature has no, no rules, no, no boundaries. boundaries. Hawks and eagles are diurnal hunters that only hunt during the day. They both have keen eyesight due to their eyes being shaped like semi-spheres, with the back of their eyes being flattened, which allows their vision cells to process more light and color. And they have a bigger aqueous body, lens, and iris. They also have a pectin, which allows them to oxygenate their eyes, and two fovea instead of one. Another noticeable similarity between hawks and eagles is that they have long, broad wings that allow them to soar for long periods of time without flapping. Their wings also allow them to catch thermals and updrafts to keep them afloat in the air so that they can fly high in the sky searching for prey, which they attack by diving up to 120 to 150 miles per hour. Their eyes are specially built to stay in place during a dive, which prevents death. To wrap up the similarities, both hawks and eagles are monogamous meaning that they mate for life. The females are generally bigger than the males in both hawks and eagles, and they usually lay one to three eggs during the mating season and will raise them until they are fully grown. Here's an unpleasant fact because I love making you all feel uncomfortable. Most of the time, eagle chicks will fight to the death for the opportunity to be raised by their parents, and the mother eagle won't even interfere. She will just watch sadistically until one of the chicks flatlines. Again, though, it's all a part of nature, people. Okay, we've talked about similarities between these two, but for the rest of the video, we will only be talking about differences. Hawks are mostly comprised of the genuses Acipter and Budio. Acipters are considered true hawks, while Budios are commonly referred to as buzzards, not to be confused for the slang term for a vulture. Budios are more closely related to eagles than acipters. Eagles, on the other hand, are an absolute classification disaster. The main groups of eagles include the booted eagles, the fish or sea eagles, the forest eagles, and the snake eagles. Examples of booted eagles include the golden eagle, wedge-tailed eagle, and martial eagle. Well-known sea eagles include the stellar sea eagle, the white-tailed eagle, and the symbol of everyone's favorite oil stealer, the bald eagle. Snake eagles include the brown snake eagle and the banded snake eagle, and forest eagles include the harpy eagle, African crowned eagle, and Philippine eagle. Although because eagle classification is all screwed up, some eagles, like the African crown eagle, can be mixed up with booted eagles and snake eagles. But all eagles have one thing in common. They all have feathers on their legs. Unlike hawks, which are leg featherless, eagles are also considered to be larger and stronger than hawks, with the largest eagle being... Uh... Yeah, no one actually knows what the largest eagle is. The heaviest eagle in the world is the stellar sea eagle, but the tallest eagle is the Philippine eagle. The eagle with the longest wingspan is the white-tailed eagle, and the eagle that is able to fit a jack-of-all-traits with these features is the wedge-tailed eagle. Eagles are generally bigger and stronger than hawks, but the largest hawk, the ferruginous hawk, or the iron hawk if you hate punctuation like me, is larger than the smallest eagle. <laughs> Hawks 
Hawks and eagles have similarly shaped heads, but their beaks are shaped differently. Eagles have a larger, blunt, and robust beak designed to shear off bigger chunks of meat, while hawks have smaller beaks that curve downward. When it comes to feeding, both hawks and eagles are experts at hunting small animals, but some species of eagle are well known for taking down prey much larger than them. Eagles hunt foods like rabbits, rodents, reptiles such as snakes, turtles, baby crocodilians, tortoises, pigs, monkeys, bats, large wading birds, fish, kangaroos, and even goats. Golden eagles are capable of using their talons to latch on to goats and yeet them off of cliffs. Because they can be too heavy to lift off the ground, they simply trust gravity to do the dirty work for them. Eagles love killing goats. Just ask this guy. Eagles are also capable of taking down other carnivores such as foxes, coyotes, and even freaking wolves. In fact, in Mongolia, tribes still use golden eagles to hunt foxes with. Hey, you Mongolian! Get out of here! You Mongolian! Prehistoric eagles could even take down prey that was much bigger than humans. The largest eagle that ever lived, the host eagle, preyed upon moas, a giant extinct ratite from New Zealand. While some hawks can probably take down a deer fawn or coyote pup, hawks generally hunt smaller prey with the average maximum size of prey for them being the size of a jackrabbit. Hawks mostly eat rodents such as rats and squirrels, reptiles like snakes and lizards, small songbirds, fish, or frogs. The way hawks and eagles hunt is similar, but not exactly the same. They are both capable of hunting in large open areas where they can easily spot prey. However, most eagles only hunt out in the open or above tree cover. Eagles prefer to just swoop down on prey and grab them with their talons. Hawks, on the other hand, hunt by using the element of surprise and rushing down prey, as well as using trickster tactics to expose a prey item's weak spot. All eagles are solitary hunters, and all hawks, with one exception, are also solitary hunters. That one exception is the Harris's hawk, which hunts in family units. While some eagles, like the African crowned eagle or harpy eagle, have shorter wingspans that can reach up to six feet, most other eagles have larger wingspans that can reach up to eight feet long. This is the reason why many eagles are much better suited for hunting out in the open compared to hawks. The largest hawk only reaches a maximum wingspan of four to five feet. Hawks are much more comfortable hunting in forests where they can weave their way through dense trees. Hawk wings are also much broader than eagles. Hawks are just more adaptable than eagles, hence why there are more eagles on the endangered species list. The rarest eagle being the Philippine eagle, with only 200 to 400 individuals left in the wild, mostly due to hunting and habitat loss. But the most common and widespread eagle is the golden eagle, which can be found all over the northern hemisphere, from northern North America, northern Africa, and Eurasia. The most widespread hawk is the red-tailed hawk, which can be found all over North and Central America in a variety of biomes such as desert, coniferous forests, deciduous forests, mountain, tropical, swampy, and arctic environments. And their population is continuing to increase and their range is expanding. Okay, I've saved the best for last. Remember that sound effect you hear in movies, video games, or memes with the eagle screeching to give off a patriotic vibe? Yeah, well, it turns out that's not what an eagle actually sounds like. That sound you're hearing is actually the call of a red-tailed hawk. This is what a bald eagle actually sounds like. I mean, not really that patriotic, but still interesting. All right, I've badmouthed eagles for the last few minutes of this video, but truth be told, I don't really care. Hawks are way cooler. I'm just kidding. Both hawks and eagles are wonderful birds of prey that play an important role in our ecosystems. They help control populations of rodents that can damage crops and the economy. 
and they help scatter fish around forests so that they can provide nitrogen to trees so that they can grow bigger and stronger. It just goes to show that every animal truly plays a part in our ecosystem and even humanity. Hopefully these birds will continue to stick around for millions of years because they truly are the most remarkable raptors. What's your favorite hawk or eagle? And which do you think is better? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!